one of the biggest impediments we find to adoption of safety initiatives is you don't have the data you need. You don't have the numbers you need to determine whether or not it's, it's value added. Will it save money or not? One of the ways that we're helping you get that is through initiatives like the Green Light Program. I've just joined it recently. Uh, it's a, a global collaborative that helps to give financial decision makers the data they need to make these determinations. And if you don't have the data collection within your own hospital or your hospital group, and I encourage you to begin doing it, uh, our test bed hospitals have data that you can adopt with uh, adjustments for your specific unique situations. And you can determine what your costs are for care. And you have to know that. You have to know, for example, that, that leadership has been found by the Joint Commission as one of the major root causes of Sentinel events. You need to know that hospital readmissions are incredibly expensive and require more care, longer stays, more cost. Looking at all CMS data, Medicare patients 65 or older admitted with a medical diagnosis, two-thirds are readmitted or dead within one year. In terms of malpractice, in total dollars, the most costly are not specialists. They're, in fact, primary care and internists. And 40% of those are cancer misdiagnosis. You need to know your numbers. That's how you can make informed choices. And that's how you can come up with a business case for safety. Just as in manufacturing automobiles, just as in aviation, just as in medicine, quality and safety processes work together to improve not only the outcome, but the bottom line. It's always less costly in total cost to get it right the first time than to get it wrong and have to remediate it. You know, there are also some legal myths out there about malpractice. Due largely to uh, the work of uh, Dr. McDonald at University of Illinois, we now know that um, acknowledging reporting and immediate remediation of harm can save the typical hospital millions annually.